Jake Wall works with the organization Save the Elephants in Kenya and has developed a system for real-time monitoring and elephants across Africa. He is also using Google Earth Engine to study elephant movement ecology and finishing his finished Almost. his doctorate at the University of British Columbia. Please join me in welcoming Jake. <laughs> so thank you very much. Um, it's great to be back again and uh, to be able to present to you today. I work for Save the Elephants, and one of the big um, challenges, challenges uh, has been to understand elephant ranging behavior. And so we've been trying to figure out the where, when, why, and how elephants move across the landscape. And it's only through understanding elephant behavior that we can better protect them and um, focus our resources. And so since 1998, we've been using GPS tracking. Um, GPS tracking's been kind of the MRI machine for movement ecology. It's given us this fine-grained view of what animals do. Um, here you can see one of our big bull elephants wearing a GPS tracking collar around his neck. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't seem to bother them at all. Um, and we've expanded our tracking program to four different biomes of Africa. So we've got the deserts of Mali, the forests of Central Africa, uh, the bushveld of southern Africa, and the savannas of Kenya. And we've tracked 250 elephants um, and have a database now of three and a half million locations over 15 years. So it's a very um, involved program. And the data is showing some really neat things. So from a movement ecology perspective, we can understand things like speeds and how an elephant is moving over uh, short time scales. Um, and what the kind of energy, locomotive energy expenditure the animal is doing. Um, we can look at the response of an elephant to various environmental covariates like rainfall or elephants that start migrating because of distant thunderstorms. Um, I've been using Google Earth Engine to correlate movement to things like NDVI, slope, um, the human footprint to understand uh, the drivers behind elephant range. From a more conservation perspective, we can use the data to look for core areas. So what are the concentration areas that elephants rely on? Um, and also, what are the corridors and the connectivity across the landscape, um, which have proved to be vital? So this is an example of some of, uh, this is one tracking data set collected from a bull called Mountain Bull, uh, and it's on the slopes of Mount Kenya. And you can see that the animal um, moved between two areas and spent roughly 60% of his time up on the mountain and 40% of his time down in the lowlands. And he crossed that corridor 45 times in the eight years we were tracking him. Sadly, he was killed in April this year uh, by poachers. But as a result of his movement data and the importance of that corridor, uh, a different agency was able to fundraise and formally build it and protect that corridor for elephants. And his legacy is now that elephants are moving freely and prote protected along the, the newly established Mount Kenya corridor. So this data is very, very powerful. Um, so because the data is constantly changing, our, our callers report in real time and they take a, a GPS fix roughly every hour and transmit that either via the GSM network or via the satellite system. And so it's constantly updating. So that was the main challenge, challenge for us. Um, so we solved that, and I built a tracking system pictured here, which collates the data into a central server. It's a cloud-based system, um, stores the data in the database. And one of the more important outputs from that is our KML API. So we can connect to that KML API using Google Earth and instantly access uh, securely access as well data from elephants across Africa. And here you can see, I did this picture this morning. This is a female elephant moving in northern Kenya um, called Tamurid. She's actually the longest ranging elephant in Africa uh, uh, that's ever been recorded. She moves over 5,400 kilometers in a year, and she's just done a 200 kilometer walk in the last four days. So using the real time tracking, we can zoom in, and Google Earth gives us a really nice. Um, well, we're actually proposing that we rename it Google Elephant because it gives us such a nice picture of what elephants do. Um, so this has been adapted and, um, or sorry, adopted by a number of management um, infrastructures in, in Kenya and in South Africa. We've expanded and we're now also tracking rhinos. 
Um, and it's become a really, really useful management tool, just that quick visualization of what an elephant is doing in the context of the environment and satellite imagery. And there's a little um, video I want to play along those lines. Elephants across Africa are in crisis. In northern Kenya, at a regional command and control center at the Lewa Wildlife Conservancy, elephants are tracked using Google Earth to guide the rangers who defend them. The tracking system have really, really helped um, in terms of save elephants. They have really done a great job within this region. And Lewa come up with a big screen on the option, and then we can able to see those colors on the screen. And then we told them we will be assisting you guys to save the elephants to monitor where these animals go. So the elephants we are tracking at the moment on this screen are within some Tamburu ecosystems here. We have about 27 elephants. Just 26 miles north at their research camp in the Samburu National Reserve, Save the Elephants follow 100 elephants across Africa using GPS tracking collars. Take position of the corolla. Now you can see. So when I take this corner, I go a little, and then on the other side of the river. Uh, this is a uh, bear and it's presented by an orange line on the Google Earth, and it's just right here. Tracked individuals reveal not just their movements, but those of their families and friends. If trouble does strike and a caller stops moving, the tracking system alerts security chiefs and enables fast deployment of rangers. By enhancing the efforts of security forces and building our understanding of elephant lives, Google Earth and Save the Elephants are helping to secure a future for one of the world's most iconic species. So that's a, sort of a nice overview. Um, and one of the issues touched on in that video was um, the current elephant ivory crisis. So since um, 2009, um, we've lost 100,000 elephants in the last three years, three to four years. And um, it's, it's really um, a huge problem. So this has kind of caught us off guard and we've had to really shift our focus from elephant ranging behavior and movement ecology to this crisis of, uh, of ivory and, and elephant killing. And you can see here, um, we've plotted all of the carcasses that we've come across in northern Kenya. And so every single red dot on that map represents an elephant like you see pictured here that's been killed just out of sheer human greed for its tusks. Um, so to give you, and this is happening all the time. So to give you an example, this was three weeks ago in Semburu Reserve, a bull elephant came into the park uh, who had never been seen before and our monitoring team goes out each day and can identify basically all 900 elephants that use the reserve. And they saw he was new, um, but had a, this spear embedded in his shoulder um, and was ble bleeding profusely. So they were able to call the Kenya Wildlife Service who came and treated the elephant. Uh, we managed to put an, a tracking collar on the an animal. Um, I'm happy to say that after three weeks, he's doing better. This is from earlier um, today and he's moved 50 kilometers and he's left the reserve. So he's doing much better as a result of that treatment. Um, then again, two weeks ago, um, another one of our female elephants that we've been tracking since 2011, um, we, we get this ominous report that I programmed. It basically analyzes the data as it comes in and figures out if a, an animal stopped moving or not. And the minute it detects an immobility signal, it, it emails us and text messages us and we get this report with a, a map location and coordinates and uh, can react to it. And so rangers went on the ground and unfortunately found her carcass as well as the carcass of another bull elephant. I am pleased to say that they got there um, in real time. Well, because the message came in in real time, they were able to react the next morning and they've, they've followed up and they've made an arrest. Um, so that's, that's one, I, I guess, the geospatial analysis is one tool in our toolbox to combat poaching. Um, anyway, so that's unfortunately the downside of all this, but we're, um, we're looking for ways to, uh, to improve our own technology and, and to see how 
Google mapping technology can help in the, the fight against elephant poaching. Um, and we also really want to expand our use of um, maps to teach awareness and, and teaching about the problem. And we're going to be going in January with the Street View camera and trying to actually get some live elephants up onto Google um, as well. So anyways, thank you. Thank you.